Ireland take the field at Lansdowne Road, Dublin, to tackle the French 15. Ireland's president, Mr. Sean O'Kelly, and the French Secretary of State watch Ireland kick off. France, following their recent victories, start as favourites. O'Reilly leads an Irish attack. Down swoop the Frenchman and bring it to a halt. Since the war, the home team have won four to the Frenchman three. O'Meara, who wins his 18th cap in this match, gets the ball to Tector, a new cap, who finds touch. Watching with his wife is the French ambassador, Monsieur Félix. Now the great Maurice Parr forces a French breakthrough. Bolo has it. Now to Dominic. And here's the first score of the day. A fine touchdown to France. Michel Vanier makes no mistake with his kick, and France are in the lead by five points to nil. Out for revenge, Pedlo sprints away up the wing. France block the attack, though the danger hasn't passed yet. Half the crowd all but join in, but the move fails just short of the line. Another distinguished guest is Prime Minister Costello. After half-time, and with no further score, play resumes with a fierce clash midfield. Martin, the French fly half, is a casualty with an injured arm. Four minutes later, O'Connell leaves with an injured ankle. But then comes something to cheer Ireland. Noel Henderson kicks a fine penalty goal. France five points, Ireland three. Ireland hit back, but just can't manage to get the ball past the Frenchman for a touchdown. With honours, if not the score just about even, the match enters its last few moments. 5-3 down, Ireland make a dangerous raid in the French half. Tony O'Reilly teams with Jim McCarthy, who just fails to snatch victory.